using the Elgar TerraSAS Solar Array Simulator software. On the right hand side of the screen you can see a series of blue tiles. These tiles represent the PV simulators that are installed and available to be controlled. Channels 1 and 2 are 80 volt 15 amp PV simulators. Channels 3 and 4 are 1000 volts 10 amp PV simulators. The TerraSAS software can recognize and control up to 48 channels. So, next we can import a PV module IV curve by going up to the photovoltaic curve menu, clicking on import, going down here to the Sandia Labs modules area, and we can go ahead and select a PV curve module. Next we add that. The module that we've now added appears here in the curves area. We can now drag that characteristic and put it onto a channel. Here we're going to put it onto channel 1. Now we can go ahead and select channel 1 and as you can see it's now got that IV curve on channel 1. Now we can turn on channel 1 and as you can see the yellow bar here it represents the operating point of the inverter. The length of the yellow bar represents the magnitude of the perturbation of the MPP on the IV curve. So now we're going to move from doing static simulations to dynamic simulations. In order to do a dynamic simulation, the first step is to import an irradiance profile from the irradiance profiles area. Here we're going to import a radiance test for this demonstration. Then a radiance test appears in the profiles area. We can then take that and drop it on channel 1 much as we did with the curve profile. Now you can see here we have an artificial irradiance profile essentially with the irradiance going from 1000 watts per square meter down to 500 watts per square meter with a temperature constant at 25 degrees centigrade. Now, in order to execute this, we simply hit play. And then this profile now plays through channel one. And as you can see, the IV curve there is being modulated by the change in irradiation. And we can stop the simulation. One of the most unique features of the TerraSAS Solar Array Simulator software is the ability to create arrays. In order to do that, we go up to the Array menu and we add an array. We can then define the number of modules per string and the number of strings and give the array in a name. For this one, we'll just call it Test123. Now we go into the photovoltaic simulation area and then we can see a graphical representation of the array we've just created. We can then take previously Im imported IV curves, solar panel characteristics, and drop those characteristics on this complete array here. Now each of these 20 panels has this characteristic creating this array, which has a composite IV curve showing, shown here in the simulation preview area. We can then go to the any of the individual panels and change the irradiation that will be seen on that panel. Here we'll set this one to 455. Immediately you see the impact on the composite IV curve. And then go and change another one also to have partial shading. And then we see the overall impact on the IV curve. We then go into the system control area. And then much as we did with the curves and the profiles, we take the array and we drop it on a channel. Once we've got the uh, array dropped on channel 4 in this instance, a 1000 volt channel, we can then go ahead and turn on the channel. Then as we can see here, the inverter starts to track with this particular curve.